Right, some of my videos might not turn out because I don't think I've been turning them on properly. Anyway, we're, this is a little track that will take you up to the wireless mast if you wanted to go, say, to another part of the walk, which I haven't done yet. There is a walk you can get from up here and it takes you somewhere else. But I use this if I'm going to go to Velvet Bottom route back, which I'm not doing today because today I'm going to walk on my way back to Cheddar. I'm just going to walk through Longwood. It'll be part of the route. But this is a nice little... This will set your hay fever off if you get it. All this pollen coming out on these beautiful little branches and everything. So I'm leaving the area of Outstanding Beauty now, the Blackdown Hills. And I'm on this little track, as you can see. And I hope the video lasts. I'm not going to play this all the way to Longwood. I'm just doing a little bit just to end this end of the, the walk. And in a minute I'll be seeing a stile and I'll be going across that field. I mean, quite often I get over the gate back there, but I thought, no, OK, I'll, I'll use their style. It's just that if you get the gate there, you can just walk straight across. Whereas here, you're coming down and you've got to go that way. And right in front of me, I'm not going that far there, I'll be turning off in a minute, is the wireless mast. And they're my reference points. Most of my walks I do around this way, or over Cheddar Way, you will see my masts. Now at the moment, I haven't mentioned a cow for quite a long time, because you don't get them in the forest. But, this time of year, you get the sheep. The cows are still not out yet. you get the sheep. Now there is a bit of a quagmire up here. I can't remember if it's before the stile or after it. Unless they got rid of that stile. I didn't realise it was this far away. Maybe it's just here. But this is a lovely little country lane. Used by bikes and walkers. Oh yeah, here's the style. And look, I haven't done it yet. I keep meaning to, but it, I mean, whether they put cows in there, I don't know. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Dandelion field. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it, everyone? I'm very tempted. When I see a sign, I think, oh, I want to go in there. Because I know it takes me to um, Barrington Coombe. It's funny how tree stumps can sometimes look like people. If I, one day I will get in that field. I can't be bothered today because I am on a bit of a tight schedule. One day I'll just nip over and climb up on that hill there. I'm not doing it today. Today I've got enough to do. I, mean, I, I probably would. If I had Dalberta at Cheddar, just say I did, I probably would do that. Because there'd be no pressure for time. As it is, I'm going to be getting the last bus back. If I get the five o'clock one, it'd be that I've just done the walk quicker than I thought. But I'll have to speed up when it gets to a certain time. I have to put the, the accelerator button on. But at the moment, we don't have to. And I don't like to think, oh, well, you could, you could get that five o'clock one, Sheila, because then what happens is that you start gearing yourself up and time gets takes you over three quarters of a walk time will start dominating you 
is unless you've got a vehicle, then it really doesn't matter. So lovely little sheepy having a little drinky. Yeah. Hello sheepy. Only got the one then. It's lovely, isn't it? Might only have one. Some lose theirs and they adopt others. Some reject their babies. When I worked in Cumberland on the sheep farm with Eileen, my friend Eileen, and they're on their farm, uh, I learnt we used to have um, sheep hospital at maternity hospital for them. I made it in a barn with bells of hay, and they showed me if a lamb had died, and there was um, and a, 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 and maybe another a sheep had died, a mum had died, but they would skin the dead lamb and put that little jacket on a living one and then give it to the the sheep who'd lost her lamb you know what I mean just to save it a bit <sighs> yeah I've seen them um, bore a hole in the top of a sheep's head to get out this fluke I used to pull it out with a pair of tweezers I mean they used to dip the sheep but they still used to get this fluke and it used to make them go into catatonic states and the sheep would just stand in the field all day staring wouldn't eat or nothing oh yeah I've seen quite a few things really about sheep when I was and getting them in and they all and the farmer Eileen's dad had names for them all and um, I can remember one that they called Tommy Cooper and after a while you did you could see that they were they had their own face you know, they knew all their sheep. You know, they they, they helped them c come into the world, and then now you see. Eventually, actually, last year they never ever did put the cows in here. They kept them in fields further up. I've been quite fortunate, but they used to have the cows in here. But whether now, because people are getting killed by cows farmer just before Christmas someone told me I, don't, I think he survived but I think he was trampled and that was the farmer right over and out over and out everyone